Welcome and study with Tanzania Institute of Education. How are you, Form 3 student? I hope you're doing well. Now prepare your exercise book and pen. I expect most of you, if not all, already learned about colonial economy. So now, student, let us discuss the meaning of colonial economy. When we say colonial economy, it refers to the system of production and consumption of cash crops and minerals, which were introduced in African colonies by the colonialists in order to fulfill their economic demands, such as raw materials, markets, areas for settlements, areas for investments, and cheap labor as well. After colonial states had taken over the colonies, the next step was to establish colonial economy. This was basically the primary purpose of European conquest of Africa in the last quarter of the 19th century. Now, student, let us explain the objectives of colonial economy. European nations established colonial economy in Africa so as to reduce the problem related with monopoly capitalism in Europe. Therefore, the following were the objectives of colonial economy in Africa as I'm going to elaborate to you. Number one, colonies were expected to provide raw materials, both agricultural products and minerals. These were highly needed by European nations so as to meet industrial demands. Examples of minerals and agricultural raw materials included cotton, coffee, sisal, parathrum, cocoa and palm oil, as well as minerals like gold, copper, and diamond. Number 2. Colonial economy was established in Africa so as to get cheap labor for production. This was due to the high demand of European workers in terms of high wages, better social services and better working conditions. The European labor power was becoming very expensive. Therefore, African laborers become the only alternative for European nations. Number 3. Colonies were expected to ensure areas for settlement for European unemployed population. Rapid industrialization in Europe during the 19th century resulted into huge mass unemployed people as machines replaced the use of manual laborers. Some colonies were selected as settlements of Europeans such as South Africa, Southern Rhodesia, Kenyan Highlands, Algeria, Northern Rhodesia among others. Number 4. Colonial economy also aimed at promoting and encouraging European investments. European had sufficient capital but lacked areas for investment. So you know what? Hmm. Africa was seen as an ideal area for investment. Number 5. Nevertheless, colonies were expected to import manufactured goods like clothes, utensils, among the others. Thus, colonial economy was established to make Africa as a source of market for European overproduced goods which were sold in Africa. Number 6. Colonies were also expected to be self-support. This means that the colonized people were expected to raise revenues that could support the administrative costs of the colony. And number 7. Laws and order was to be maintained. This in turn would facilitate the exploitation of resources for the benefit of the colonial power. Characteristics of colonial economy The colonial economy was characterized by the following features. Number 1. Import-export-oriented economy Colonies specialized in production and export of raw materials for the metropolitan industries and importation of manufactured goods from Europe. European demands determined what and how much to be produced in the colony. Africans were producing what they did not consume and consume what they didn't produce. Number 2. Establishment of weak and small processing industries The few factories that were established in Africa were for import substitution. This was because colonies had to remain producers of raw materials which were highly needed to feed industries in Europe. Number 3. Some of the colonies were monoculture. This means that they are specialized in production of one major commodity. For example, Mauritius specialized in production of sugar. Ghana produced cocoa, 
Liberia produced rubber, and Sudan produced cotton among others. Number 4. Colonial economy involved construction of physical infrastructures as road and railways. The aim was to transport raw materials from production areas towards the coast, laborers to plantation and mining centers, and armed forces to suppress African resistance in the interior. For example, the British built the Uganda Railway which started at Mombasa along the coast in 1896 and reached Kisumu on the shores of Lake Victoria in 1901. Number 5. Colonial economy was also characterized by the dominance of Europeans. They established their trading companies. The companies established in the colonies, therefore, were mere branches of imperialist powers. These trading companies could open and shut any given market since they monopolized all trading activities. The most notable companies include Imperial British East African Company, German East African Company, and International Association, among others. Now, student, we proceed to study the short summary of our topic of colonial economy. Lesson summary. What is colonial economy? Colonial economy was the system of production and consumption of cash crops and minerals which were introduced in African colonies by the colonialists in order to fulfill the economic demands such as raw materials, markets, areas for investment, areas for settlements, and cheap labor as well. Objectives of Colonial Economy Now, I will repeat two times every single point. The objectives of Colonial Economy are as follows. A. Colonies were expected to provide raw materials. Again, colonies were expected to provide raw material. B. The need for markets for the European manufactured goods. Again, the need for markets for European manufactured goods. C. The European needed cheap labor from Africa. I repeat again. The European needed cheap labor from Africa. D. The need for areas for settlement for European unemployed people. Again. The need for areas for settlement for European unemployed people. E. The European needed areas for investment. Again, the European needed areas for investment. F. African were expected to be self-supporting. Again, African were expected to be self-supporting. G. Laws and order were to be maintained. Again, laws and order were to be maintained. Student, now we are going to elaborate the characteristics of colonial economy. Characteristic features of colonial economy are A. It was an export-import oriented economy. B. It was monoculture in nature. C. Colonial economy also involved construction of physical infrastructures. D. It also involved massive land alienation. E. Establishment of small processing industries and F. Dominance of Europeans in trade. My student! Now I will give you three questions that you will have to give me answers. Alright? Huh? Sit properly, take your exercise book and pen. Are you ready? Okay. Good. Listen carefully and write these questions. I will repeat three times each question. Alright? Okay, let's proceed. Question number one. Define the term colonial economy. Define the term colonial economy. Define the term colonial economy. Question number two. 
explains six objectives for establishment of colonial economy in Africa. Explains six objectives for establishment of colonial economy in Africa. Explains six objectives for establishment of colonial economy in Africa. Question number three. With six points, analyze the main characteristics of colonial economy in Africa. Hmm? With six points, analyze the main characteristics of colonial economy in Africa. Last, with six points, analyze the main characteristics of colonial economy in Africa. Form 3 student, now follow my lead and check your answers. Starting with question number 1, which says, define the term colonial economy. Now these are the answers. Question number 1, definition of colonial economy. Colonial economy refers to the system of production and consumption of cash crops and minerals which were introduced in African colonies by the colonialists in order to fulfill their economic demands such as raw materials, markets, areas for investments, areas for settlements, and cheap labor as well. Question number two, which says, explain six objectives for establishment of colonial economy in Africa. And this is the answer. A. Colonial were expected to provide raw materials for European industries. B. African colonial were expected to import the European manufactured goods, hence source of market. C. Colonial were expected to provide enough areas that will ensure settlement for the European and employed population. D. Colonies were expected to be self-supporting, that means Colonized people were supposed to collect revenues that will help to support administrative cost. E. Colonial were expected to be effective areas for European investment. F. African colonies were also expected to avoid economic problems that occurred in Europe resulted by monopoly capitalism. Answer for question number 3, which says, Analyze the characteristics of colonial economy in Africa. Characteristics of colonial economy in Africa A. It was export-import oriented economy B. Involved the construction of physical infrastructures, for example, roads, railways, harbors and ports C. Some colonial were monoculture. They specialized on production of single cash crops D. The trading sector was dominated by the European only E. Establishment of monetization. Only European currency used as the medium of the exchange. F. Massive land alienation. And G. Introduction of various forms of taxes. For example, land tax, poll tax, and cattle tax. I hope you get it right. Good. Very good. Thank you, my student. Till next lesson. Goodbye.